Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video we have seen a theory as well as a demonstration of how broken access control works and in this video we'll be looking into the cryptographic failures theory. So let's look into that. So as you can see the image, cryptographic failures are in second place. Cryptographic failures are also known as sensitive data exposure. So why it has been moved from the third position to the second position? Well, there are various factors which are been affecting this. So let's look, look into that. So even in the image, you can see in 2017, it was in third position, which is known as sensitive data exposure, which has been changed to the second position, uh, cryptographic failures. So let's look into the factors. So there are total 29 CWEs and there are total more than 3K CVEs which have been found. So these are some of the factors which have been affecting uh, the position of this uh, vulnerability, which has made it from the third position to the second position. So CVs is nothing but the total vulnerabilities find uh, based on the survey that they have done. So let's look into the next one, which is the description. So as you can see in the description, there are some uh, examples which uh, we would uh, require uh, more careful attention. So as you can see, there are passwords, credit card numbers, health records, personal data, as well as business secrets. So based on the privacy policies, these uh, need to be uh, look, looked into carefully. So for, for all such data, we have to check whether the data has been transmitted in a clear text or whether there are weak algorithms which have been used. So these are some of the factors which uh, are mentioned in the slide uh, and which need to be further investigated. So pause the video and just read all this uh, information which has been took from OWASP website. Let's move on to the second slide. So which is a preventation. So these are some of the preventation methods which uh, need to be done according to the OWASP uh, uh, website. So we have to classify the data and uh, we should not uh, store uh, sensitive data unnecessarily. We should only do it uh, if that is necessary and uh, we should uh, make sure that it has been encrypted at rest. So uh, you can see these are some of the factors which uh, uh, are used for the preventation methods. So make sure uh, you pause the video again and uh, read all this. So these are some of the attack scenarios uh, which are mentioned in the website. So let's look into what exactly these are. So coming to the scenario one, an application encrypts credit card uh, numbers in database using automatic database encryption. However, when the data is automatically decrypted uh, when retrieved, allowing an SQL injection flaw to retrieve uh, credit card information in a clear text. So let's uh, see how exactly uh, it can be done. Uh, just a theory right now I'm telling you. So let's consider we have a front end website. So let's say it's uh, www.abc.com. So we have a front end website and uh, so all the information here has been retrieved from a back end database. Let's say uh, it has uh, a.db so this is the database uh, from which uh, the website is retrieving from so let's say commands like sql commands so for example let's say if i uh, use uh, get ravi's password so it should not give me uh, my password right but in some cases if the vulnerability is there we will be getting the password of ravi teja which is uh, let's say it has admin one two three which is the most default uh, password. So using some uh, SQL commands, we can get the information from search bar or uh, even from SQL injections. We can uh, get those information. So this is one of the vulnerability which uh, was mentioned. Uh, so we'll be looking at it uh, in the next video, like uh, how exactly uh, the sensitive information can be retrieved. So apart from this, let's look into the second one which is uh, so coming to scenario two a site doesn't use an enforced uh, TLS for all the pages or supported weak encryption so an attacker monitors network traffic at unsecured uh, wireless network downgrades connection from HTTPS to HTTP intercepts request and steals the user uh, session cookies and you can use it uh, again so let, uh, let's look how it actually uh, can be done so similarly let's consider uh, this is the website and uh, right now let's uh, use a new one 
so let's consider there is a website okay let's consider it as uh, like ABC which is HTTP so whenever you're trying to use uh, HTTP the data is not secured so we should uh, al always go to HTTPS so let's say our Wi-Fi has been compromised or so on and we have a Wireshark in between Wireshark so this is attacker who is using it and uh, so whenever you're trying to use uh, let's say you're searching for Google so obviously like usually it goes through internet so usually this is the process that it should go through but uh, once the web, uh, the Wi-Fi has been compromised it will go in this way so all the information that you're searching will be going through the Wireshark and uh, uh, that I can see the information uh, what actually you are searching for so let's say I'm in the login page okay so I have used my credentials which is uh, Ravi and the password is admin one two three so whenever I use it and uh, since it is HTTP I can uh, decrypt those uh, information from the Wireshark using various commands so the attacker can see my username as well as my password and using this information he can log into the console and uh, he can perform his operations so this is how he, he can uh, do it so we have to make sure that always uh, the login pages are secured with HTTPS and at least it should have TLS uh, 1.2 so these are some of the things that uh, need to be taken care of and uh, just for the information uh, when I was learning this there is also a, a you know a method where the attacker can uh, even it is HTTP yes so whenever uh, you will be getting some fishy links it will be in HTTP if you like observe carefully or sometimes it will be in some other format but uh, for a few seconds uh, attacker can use yes so he can use that concept and he can make sure believe you that it's actually a secure website and uh, make sure that you log into those websites so these are all those the methods which uh, can be used so yeah these are some of the things that uh, I just wanted to tell you guys and uh, I hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, uh, today's video so these are the references that I took from you can also get uh, information from uh, OS website and uh, finally thank you so i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video and in the next video we'll be talking uh, about uh, demo session how actually it works and uh, we'll be looking into more depth so i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone